hello guys Jagbir Singh back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video we will discuss about surface design and how to make a full defined plane so let's get started so first of all I would just like to tell that this video will be a continuation of series in which I will be posting step by step how to make a full fledged plane from scratch so we will be using photo editor feature of Katia in order to make a plane and it will be a combination of series which can range around 10, 15 to 20 minutes each video and I will segregate into different parts so that everyone can understand each detailed features that I would be using and I will be explaining in very detail so that there is no doubt about how to use the software and what are the functionalities of the each feature that I will be discussing in these videos from now on onwards so stay tuned it's going to be a long process but it's going to be fun at the same time and there is going to be a lot of knowledge because I will be making and working on these videos assuming that the person won't know anything about CATIA V5 at all and so even for the new beginners who are just trying to come across Katia and see the powerful features that Katia can provide they can all go through the videos and learn step by step with making sense so after saying that I would like to start with this video with surface designing so first of all this is the home screen for Katia I'll go to file and click on new I'll scroll down to product because product is what we are looking for is basically an assembly for image pattern that allow us to insert different parts within one main product so I'm going to single single left click and one right click and come to components and click on new part so I have my access system and within the access system I have the main part as well so this is like an assembly this is one part and within the part they have like subdivisions so you can see that when I switch from part like which is the part in actuality and the part product we shuffle between the product features and the part features so the main thing right now is we want to work with photo editing feature of Katia because I will be using three different views which will be left top and front view in order to make a plane because I will be using the blueprint of the sketch that I can just download from any website through online sources like Google which I will be showing you pretty soon so right here let's say I'm going to open and Google and I'm going to search that uh, blueprints 3d uh, let's say I'm going to search aeroplane aeroplane blueprints let's say our aeroplane blueprint drawings yeah I mean this is what we are kind of looking for we just need any one of these that we would like to work on I would just like to start a simple one so that it makes more sense for anyone of how to actually make it work these are kind of I just want any this looks good but it's, it's kind of weird shape I'm looking for something that will be slightly simpler for initial level and then we can go step by step to different shapes and sizes let's say 737 max yeah I mean this is pretty good I would say you can download this I'm just going to save it right now the YouTube's 
here cat here I'm just going to save it anywhere like randomly just like that and I'm coming back to my screen right here I have the access so now what I'm going to do click on the part make sure you have all the part features accessible and after that you go to so we have different features that will be be working back and forth with the one that we are going to use in order to import the picture is that's the sketch tracer you click on it make sure that you're on part and you can see that you have the sketch tracer you have to make an immersive sketch in order to import those import the picture that we just downloaded right now and make use of the picture or the blueprint or drawing whatever you want to call in order to make the wireframe out of it so that you can use that wireframe to generate itself a design it is a very cool process and very interesting as well so first of all there are some conditions that you need to make sure so I will intentionally make some mistakes and work through it so that it makes more sense for you like as a beginner what will, uh, will be the mistake that you will be encountering so let's say I'm just going to click on immersive sketch and I haven't selected anything yet I'm just going to say that okay I have something okay wait a second I should have downloaded it here 737 max 737 max You can take any one of these. Let's take this one. Well, the one that we found out there. Well, yeah, this is the one that we found out there. So save image as, and here I'm going to save it. Get here. I'm going to save it right there. back here so I have the part right here so let's say you're unaware of how to get started you just know that you're going to use sketch tracer and you click on immersive sketch you choose the drawing that you have and uh, what problem you, you might see is first of all it says wrong view mode change it to material mode to see the painting you click OK so now it's not just one problem but if you zoom in and zoom out you will see that okay it is kind of weird because the picture does not know where to align so that is very important so now two things need to take into consideration first of all that which view are you going to import first and secondly you need to change the view mode as well into the material that you are applying so how do you do it you cancel this first and then you come right here at the bottom shading with edges which is basically the material you see the last one question mark customize view parameters you click on it here it's a grand you have to choose material you click ok now whenever you're going to make uh, bring the part it's going to show the material of the picture that is actual so now the second problem was when I imported the part, uh, the drawing I mean, let's say I'm going to import this. Now I do have the drawing, but I don't have a specific view to work with. So let's say I'm going to say that, okay, I'm going to have the isometric view right here. 
and I will choose first I will bring the front view of it so I choose front view and then now I'm going to click on immersive view so now the front view of the plane is going to be this right here at my top right this is the one that I'm going to be using and I'm just going to so this is for the cropping that how much of the section do I really want it right here I just want half of the plane so that I'm just going to mirror it because plane is symmetrical through the center axis so that is the main reason I'm just taking it in the center so just make sure that either one of these values needs to be same throughout the uh, throughout the views what I mean by that is let's say if I have I'm just going to put thousand as a number it can be any number but you see when I change this number this number get automatically adjusted that is the thing what we are looking for the same thing will go from on this as well and for the side view as well I click OK I can see that okay this is the thing that I'm looking for right click you click on properties and so now the main thing is that when I will be working on this as soon as possible you can see that you won't be able to see the white wireframe on the white top so it's going to be really hard for you to visualize like how to make the wireframe or how to make the outline so you simply right click on the board click on properties and by default it's going to be on feature properties you just go to graphic and increase the transparency less than 70 like it can be any anywhere where you feel is comfortable for you for your eyes to make the drawing over it so now on a shady grayish image it's easier to make the outline of the plane rather than having a white on white top which is going to basically disappear your wireframe on top of the board so those are kind of the things that are important to keep in your mind so now similarly I'm going to bring in the uh, the right view this time and I click on the sketch you're going to do the same thing again and again but this time it's going to be the right view right here right somewhere here I'm going to crop this down somewhere here let's say here I'm just going to crop this down as well and I'm going to change the flip the direction and the horizontal axis I kept as thousand I'm going to do the same as here and I click OK you can see that both of the scales are pretty sim similar or to what we might need to work with I'm again going to increase the transparency to around 70 something apply click OK so now I ha already have two views set up which is the front and basically a side which is the right side view so now I'm going to do the same thing with the top view as well I'm going to choose the top view and bring the top view in create immersive sketch double click on the paint and this is my top view alright and I want this side of the top view and I'm going to just scale it down to whatever the dimension that I'm looking for I say I just want this much of it and what I want is this thing right here I'm not looking for a lot and I think this time it's going to be negative thousand I'm guessing so that would make more sense click OK and Right, isometric. All right, it doesn't make sense. 
so again double click and you can change the direction I think the direction might be slightly yeah I think this might be the right way The same going to enter thousand here instead of the other way. Let's see how it's how it's gonna work. Sometimes it's confusing, so I'm not sure. Okay, I want it on the other side, not this side. Okay. Yeah, positive thousand. I don't want that. Let's see. Okay, the side is correct, but it's, it seems to be very bigger in comparison to the size that we have before. Okay. Scaled it down as well. That's kind of weird. Let's try to do this view once again. We'll delete it, go to the top view, create an immersive sketch, bring right here, change the side. Flip the direction. This is what I'm looking for. And okay, thousand. Just try to get where can I adjust this thing to make sense. Now we are just going to redefine. Okay, so now we are somewhere closer to it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put positive thousand. Let's see. Let's I have no idea what this is going to act like, is it going to be okay or not. Well, it's pretty close to what we are looking for, but not actually the same. I think I might made a mistake when I was trying to increase or decrease the size or the rotation of it. Thousand. So Thousand this way, thousand that way. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Let's try to hundred. Yeah, yeah. I mean, now it looks better. Yeah, this looks better now. So I'm just going to use 1200, but by default, all the three views should be equal. 
for some reason it wasn't working in my laptop quite possible that it might be working in yours you can still see that there is a slight variation in the size this is not how it's supposed to be it should be around let's say I'm going to put 1100 This looks better. Yeah, this looks better. I'm just going to stick to this now. Yeah. So for this video, I that's pretty much it. I would say that how to align the different sort of uh, views that we need to, and that does make sense to us. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. Take care. Bye.